Mud run day. Morning naps. Let's go wake up the girls. Gently, gently. I said, spell it in that one. Good morning, child. <laughs> you want to get dressed? Yeah. All right, let's get dressed. Watch Daddy run today? Yeah. It's raining outside. <laughs> All right. Where's, where's your shoes, little miss? You better put them on. All right, guys. Everybody's dressed as they're going to get. We got the baby carrier. And we're ready to head out the door for this crazy mud run. Here we go. You guys excited? Yeah. All right. What are we going to go do? Um, the hackles. <laughs> and you ate your donut. All right. <laughs> and the seashore is beautiful, even in the rain. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Saturday is also grocery shopping day. So mud run in the morning, grocery shopping in the afternoon, and off we go home to cook dinner. Just in case anybody was wondering, we shop Aldi. Ours is under construction right now. But we meal plan, and when we don't, I kind of have a mental game of what we cook normally, like 10 meals that are go-to meals for us, and I know what they call for, and that's what I did this week. We got all the stuff for things like tostadas, and tacos, and scrambled eggs, and granola, all of our go-tos. And our meals this week cost about one, I think our bill was 188 for a family of 10 at Aldi. Mostly organic too. We had some really cute kids gardening stuff. So we said, what the heck, might as well. That's a wrap. A super busy Saturday like today was, I try and keep dinners very simple. 
Sometimes after grocery shopping, I just grab those $5.99 take and bake pizzas from Aldi. So they're, they're not as bad as the Little Caesars ones per se, but they keep me sane and they're still super easy. I didn't do that this time. We went even more budget friendly and I had some um, Trader Joe's bread that's very similar to Ezekiel bread. And I already had that at home. And so I grabbed some tomatoes that were on sale and bacon was on sale. So we're having BLTs tonight. And I even grabbed the $2.99 um, deli guacamole in the package that Aldi sells. And um, so we're having avocados on our BLTs. We're getting fancy up in here. But that's what's, dinner, what's for dinner tonight. And then we are going to have our favorite treat, which is gluten and dairy free, not sugar free. It's Rice Krispie Treats and my kids love them. Say hi, Ellie Bird. My kids love them and they're super easy and a little bit goes a long way. So it's a Saturday night treat after a fun day. After a really long, busy day, I love a hot cup of coffee. And my husband makes probably the best homemade latte, fancy coconut milk, frothy drink. And I'm gonna show you what all my drink entails. First, he makes espresso and my favorite little espresso dude that my friend Christy gave me before we moved from California. I love this guy. I think you can get him on Amazon because she likes Amazon like I like Amazon. And so we, we make our espresso in that um, and it makes quite a bit of espresso. And then he warms up my coconut milk from Aldi. P.S. I buy it only at Aldi because it's the best frothing coconut milk the other silk brands and all that doesn't don't frost as well fr froth as well <laughs> so this coconut milk from Aldi froths amazingly well so he warms that up in a little pan on the stove on the stove and once it gets really really warm he uses this handy four dollar gadget from Ikea I got it on Amazon because there's no Ikea's in Tennessee crazy right so Amazon four bucks and then he frosts my milk and he pours my espresso into my favorite little coffee mug that I got, Lindsay Letters, farmhouse state of mind with my chickens. Pours my espresso in there, pours the warm, frothied coconut milk over the top of that and adds a splash of maple syrup. This is also Aldi, 100% pure maple syrup. Here comes my baby. So there's my tips on fancy homemade coffee.